From the state capitol in Richmond, I'm Craig Carper. The General Assembly has taken its first steps to addressing high levels of evictions in Virginia, beginning with a three-year study to obtain eviction data from courts in order to help draft further legislative remedies. Senator Mamie Locke chairs the Virginia Housing Commission. She's also a landlord. She says lawmakers need to strike an appropriate balance that's fair for all parties. How can we ensure that we're uh, not contributing to a homeless population? And how can we ensure that uh, the landlord is being treated fairly and that the tenant is being treated fairly? The General Assembly also passed legislation that would allow certain localities with high eviction rates, including Richmond and Petersburg, to establish payment plans for tenants facing potential eviction. Another bill would give tenants two extra weeks to pay rent that's past due. Governor Northam put an additional $19 million into the Virginia Housing Trust Fund, but the House and Senate removed most of that money from the budget. They are currently negotiating to determine how much, if any, of the funding will be restored. For Assembly 19, I'm Craig Carper. Broadcast of Assembly 19 is brought to you by the Virginia Education Association. An investment in Virginia teachers today will bring dividends tomorrow.